Well, thanks, Elise. Thanks, Tom. Thanks to all these uh, colleagues and friends for standing here and standing with Texas, um, many of whom here are Texans. Um, Thomas Jefferson said self-preservation is paramount to all law. I don't know if I can talk about Thomas Jefferson now unless this statue gets somehow removed from the Capitol suddenly. But the fact of the matter is that's the basis for why we even have a government and why we have a constitution in the first place, is to ensure that we can take care of ourselves, to ensure that we're secure. Our borders are wide open. And unless you debate whether there's an invasion, talk to the people of Texas. I was in Brackettville, Texas, just last week in Tony's district, where Tony is. And the people down there, the ranchers, there were 200 people in the room. And they were saying, where are you? They were looking at us and saying, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to help us? What are you going to do to protect us? Because if not, we're going to have to protect ourselves. And that's what we're seeing out of Governor Abbott, appropriately. The president has the ability right now, the power to stop it. 212F, he could use that power. He could undo many of the orders that Tom referenced. But he chooses not to, because this is all a sham and it's purposeful. It is a purposeful effort to deluge our society and to undermine our way of life, to destroy Western civilization. It is being done at the hands of Democrats in power in the White House. We have a duty in Congress to stand up against funding that behavior and the governor of Texas has the duty, the right, and the ability under the Constitution of the United States to stand up and defend the people of Texas, and we are going to stand alongside the governor. With that, I'll turn it over to my friend Michael McCall.